There's a Razer Plus smartphone and you have an issue where you have a black screen, you could have a black screen on the when you open it up or it could be on this side as well. It doesn't matter, okay? Now this one here is fixed, but I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now, okay? So first thing is we're just gonna pretend like my screen here is black. Even though your screen is black, you know that it's still on. You hear notifications coming in, maybe phone calls. Maybe you can feel it vibrate. And even if you plug your phone in, you should be able to hear that chime, okay? Anyway, we're gonna pretend my screen here is black. We're gonna pretend both sides is black, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna restart it using a two key combination on here, okay? So first thing is, uh, if you have a case on here too, take it off. So let's pretend I have a black screen here. First thing is you wanna press and hold volume up and power. Press and hold both buttons together. Don't let go until the Moto logo appears and let go. Okay, so we'll do it together. But to my screen here is black. Volume up, power, ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Keep on holding both buttons and just wait until the Moto logo appears. Still holding, volume up and power button. Still holding. Okay, just turn black. Okay, well, now go ahead and let go. Let it boot up normally, and hopefully you are out of the black screen. Okay, of course you want to check on this side as well. Now, if you, if you still have a black screen, no problem. Next thing we're going to do is this, okay? So go ahead and locate your power button, and what I want you to do is just spam it only four times. Do not do it more than four times. If you do that and you have your SOS emergency enabled, it's going to call emergency services. For instance, if you're in the U.S. and you have it enabled, if you hit it five times consecutively, it's going to call 911. So let's do it four times, okay? Just in case. Power button here, four times consecutively. Kind of hard. One, two, three, four. All right? Just like that. Now, it's possible that your uh, power button could be stuck or jammed. It could be loose. You could have something sticky in there, coffee, soda, or whatnot. Anyway, I just spammed it four times. Now, go ahead and grab your charging cable. And we're going to plug it in. We're going to wait five seconds. After five seconds, we're going to restart it using that two key combination again, okay? So it's charging right now. Pretend my phone here is black. And we're going to do volume up, power, ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons while it's charging here. So keep on holding, volume up, power. Continue to hold until we see that Moto, Motorola logo appear. Still holding on both buttons here. Still holding. Still holding. Oh, Moto logo. Let go, let it boot up, and hopefully you are out of the black screen, okay? You still have the black screen, no problem. So first thing is we're gonna go ahead and unplug it now. And next thing we're gonna do here is what I call the press method. So what I want you to do is grab your phone like this and basically use your thumbs and you're gonna press all over the screen and all over on the back, okay? If you don't wanna smudge up your screen, you can use like a cloth or a paper towel or whatnot. So basically I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna press kind of hard all over press all right pretend my screen here is black okay keep pressing pressing press 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 keep pressing and sometimes as you're pressing like this sometimes the screen will come on maybe you get half the screen maybe you get some white lines anyway you got to press kind of hard even all in the corners press press now if you hear a little click just go ahead and pop that hit that power button and see if both of the screens are on okay anyway keep pressing all over same thing on the back here okay so you want to go ahead and press press kind of hard now this top screen here press press all around the camera lens press press now if you hear a little click right here tap that power button and see if both screens are on okay if not no biggie, just keep pressing, pressing, pressing kind of hard, pressing, pressing. Then go ahead and turn it over, tap that power button, and see if your screens are on. If not, same thing again. Power, or power button, volume up, ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons. Do not let go until the Motorola logo appears. Holding both buttons here again. Power button, volume up, still holding. Still holding. Now just wait for Moto logo. It just vibrated. There it is. Go ahead and let go. And wait for it to boot back up. And hopefully you have both screens 
on now. All right. If you still have the black screen, no problem. So this next method I have for you is what I call the freezer method. What I want you to do is grab your phone, just like this, nice and naked, no case, go to your freezer, put this in your freezer for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, grab your nice cold phone and then tap on that power button and see if the screen is on, same on the back side, okay? If it's not on, no problem. While the phone's nice and cold, restart it again using the two key combination. Remember, power button, volume up. Press and hold both buttons. Don't let go until you see the Motorola logo appear. Then let go. And hopefully now you have a working screen. Now here's the thing. If you tried all of these steps and you still have a black screen, then what I would recommend is start from step one. Do all the steps again. Doesn't work? Try it three times. Doesn't work? Try it at least seven times, okay? Sometimes the seventh time is a charm. And if you try it at least seven times, I'm going to say at least 70% of you guys should have a working screen right now, okay? If this work for you, give me a thumbs up. Let me know which uh, method or combination of methods you think work for you so others can see. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. We should have at least a 70% thumbs up if you did it these seven times, okay? Good luck, guys.